Welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Nemo, and it is undoubtedly true that Disney Plus has changed the landscape of Disney properties basically forever. Thanks to the new entertainment giant streaming platform, we've seen revivals of major classic shows like The Proud Family and the Star Wars Clone Wars series. So, with all of this happening, with all of these things up in the air, there's one property specifically that I've been wondering a lot about. That property being Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb was a massive hit for the network, one of the most iconic cartoons of all time. It's up there with SpongeBob in terms of being one of the capitalistic greats. And even though Phineas and Ferb ended after an iconic four season run, we all knew the show would not be gone forever. It would make no sense. Even though it had an incredible conclusion, I mean, time marches on. I couldn't imagine Disney not dipping its toes back into the incredibly imaginative and also extremely profitable world of Phineas and Ferb. And guys, it is in my humble cartoon opinion that I think there is a very good chance Phineas and Ferb could be coming back in the very near future. Let's break it down. Now, I know there's a lot of other factors but the biggest one I want to touch on first is money. Phineas and Ferb is still an incredibly profitable franchise, despite concluding about five years ago at this point. All the way back in 2015, Phineas and Ferb never faded out of the general public's collective consciousness, especially in the realm of pop culture. I mean, just look on any social media platform and you'll see countless Phineas and Ferb memes, constant references to the show, and at times just straight up discussion about it. In fact, just this year, the Doofenshmirtz cover of Billie Eilish's Bad Guy went pretty viral which proves Phineas and Ferb is still melding with our current pop culture despite not pumping out new episodes. It's the perfect example of how Phineas and Ferb has stayed relevant. And if anything, it even can play into the nostalgia factor, which is extremely powerful on the internet. I mean, this show came out in 07. That's a long time ago. A lot of people grew up watching Phineas and Ferb. So the bottom line is, it's still very much in the public pop culture consciousness. Now, before we move on further with more speculation, it's important to note that we are going to return to the world of Danville once more this summer slash early fall with the release of the movie Phineas and Ferb, Candace Against the Universe. This will air on Disney+. Plus. And although this is a very exciting project that is sure to please a lot of fans, there's reasons to believe that it won't be the last we see of Phineas and Ferb in animated form. In fact, there's a compelling argument that Phineas and Ferb will return to our screens with an entire new season, or even a series, on Disney+. Plus. So let's break this down to brass tacks. First things first, why would Phineas and Ferb even come back? Wouldn't a movie be enough to dip back into the world, give a lot of Phineas and Ferb fans a taste of what they've been wanting, while also maximizing on that nostalgia factor without being too risky. I mean, the show did have a very solid conclusion. A continuation would be kind of a risk. Well, I think we need to look at the bigger picture here. One of Disney Plus's strategies for maintaining subscribers for the long haul is reviving old properties as full-fledged television series. I mean, as I mentioned before, Star Wars The Clone Wars is having a newly produced final season run on a weekly basis, which has great reception so far. And like I also mentioned, they're reviving The Proud Family with a new series subtitled Louder and Prouder. Lizzie McGuire was even slated for a revival, but as of recent, that has hit production issues as the showrunner left the project. After only filming two episodes, due to Disney feeling as if her interpretation was way too, quote, adult. And I, and I mean, with reports of the first episode dealing with cheating and sex, yeah, I can see how that would be a huge disconnect from the rest of the material and family-friendly image, as controversial as that's making them seem right now. Nevertheless, Disney is clearly banking on nostalgia here. We all know it. And although the Phineas and Ferb movie is a great start for this, it won't keep subscribers long term. It's a one-time movie, especially if they're debuting a lot of their other shows weekly. However, because of the immense popularity of Phineas and Ferb attracts, it's a logical move that the movie would lay the groundwork for a revival of its own. I mean, after all, Phineas and Ferb has had movies in the past. This is nothing new. This movie could potentially jumpstart the next generation of Phineas and Ferb. Since Disney Plus's launch, Phineas and Ferb has never left the trending tab. And as of February 2020, it has 28.6 million subscribers since its November 2019 launch. Although this trending category is likely region specific, VPN show it still trends in other countries, and that still means in the USA, where the show is made, millions are still streaming Phineas and Ferb every single week. That's insane. There's even further evidence from the creator, Dan Povenmire. So what else is coming up? Just the movie? and uh, Well, else? we're doing the movie, and then there's, you know, there's talks of what happens after that. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's good to hear. Yeah. That's always good to hear. So, uh, so, so we'll see. He went on Butch Hartman's podcast, Speech Bubble, in August of 2019 and stated the higher-ups were discussing what would happen after the Disney Plus movie while it was still in production, hinting there could be a future in Phineas and Ferb. So, so the movie, anything else after the movie? Anything that you can nothing, talk that I, about? nothing that I can really talk about. Yeah, that, right, of course. You know, we're, 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 we're in talks for, for more stuff. So okay, very cool. We'll see what happens. 
there's even more evidence, however. Weirdly enough, when recently asked if Phineas would ever get married, Poppenmeyer responded on Twitter with, yes, Phineas will get married someday, but probably not on the show. The interesting thing about this tweet, if we're not taking it too far out of context, he's speaking in present tense about a show that has been over for half of a decade. Movie or not, that's interesting to note, and sounds as if there could be more on the way. But let's address the elephant in the room, Milo Murphy's Law. It was Dan and Swampy's next big show after Phineas and Ferb, it had Weird Al Yankovic voice the lead character, and it was even serialized, featuring an ongoing story every season. Unfortunately, it came out at the worst possible time, an era where Disney XD began to see a decline in viewership, and Disney Channel had no idea what to do with their programming. Eventually, all animated series, Big City Green, Star Vs, Amphibia, Big Hero 6, the series, etc., either all moved to the main network or premiered there from the jump. Previously, Disney XD became the new home for most Disney animation, and Gravity Falls moved there in 2014, but with cable going out the window, they seemed to want their animation to be as exposed to potential viewers as possible, which is why we're now getting so much programming exclusively to Disney+. Plus. Long story short, Milo got screwed by the shift, going on hiatus for a year in the US after its season finale being advertised as the beginning of the Phineas and Ferb crossover. When season 2 and the crossover eventually premiered stateside, hardcore fans already indulged in the season through online recordings of their international premieres, and it was hard for the show to generate discussion, let alone attract new fans. Actually, underneath the Phineas getting married tweet, when asked about season 3 of Milo Murphy's Law, Poppenmeyer said, I think it's a long shot at this point, but maybe if it starts getting more popularity on Disney+, Plus, it seems as if he and Swampy are already moving on, but moving on to what? As soon as Phineas and Ferb ended, they began Milo, and it just seems like with this duo, their creative juices prevent them from sitting still for too long. But I think instead of moving on to a new IP, Disney would have pushed for them to revive Phineas and Ferb fully, maybe even absorbing the Milo Murphy's Law characters into the cast, since the crossover teased another return of Phineas and Ferb characters, and Doofenshmirtz himself becoming a recurring character in season 2, staying with the Murphy residents. So with all of this information on the table and a potential of a Phineas and Ferb revival, we logically have to ask the next question, what would a revival of Phineas and Ferb even look like? Going off of the Proud Family reboot, it makes sense this won't just be more Phineas and Ferb, but a proper sequel series. It could take place in another summer, but I would lean more towards the possibility of finally seeing Phineas and Ferb in school for a full season. I doubt the characters would have aged enough at this point where they look any different, and the series couldn't go too far into the future anyways due to the episode actor Age, which saw a giant time skip of the Phineas and Ferb cast, even some of their romantic endgame games like Phineas and Isabella, or oddly enough, Ferb and Vanessa, not gonna touch on that. We could even follow Doof no longer being a villain, as he gave up his role in the finale. Perhaps they'll continue the setting of the post-finale special, the OWCA Files, with Doof and Agent P on the same animal team. Or Doof will go back to inventions, but gives the evil and Doof and Schmerz is Evil Incorporated an acronym of sorts that stands for something good, just so they can keep the classic jingle, it'd be like a funny joke. Again, Milo Murphy's Law characters can be sprinkled in, maybe in higher grades than Phineas and Ferb, but at the same school, though they would probably be a retcon in relation to Milo Murphy's Law, but considering most of the mainstream audiences have never even heard of Milo Murphy, they would probably find a Phineas and Ferb revival with Weird Al's name attached very attractive. Like Milo Murphy's Law, this new series could adapt a serialized format and tell an overarching story over the season while still remaining mostly episodic in nature. That'd be interesting and it would be great to keep people streaming the series every week, especially if they debut it weekly. They definitely would capitalize on the song aspect in this day and age too, any new song instantly being released on streaming services would generate more revenue for Disney and, I don't know, they could end up as TikTok songs. I don't know how things work these days. At this point, reviving it would rake in much more money than just leaving the series alone, but that still seems to be an efficient moneymaker. So, at the end of the day, Disney has a couple of options here, and it makes a ton of sense that they're being silent about it. My guess is behind closed doors, there's talks going on, deals being signed, plans being made for what is the best thing to do with this massive IP that they're sitting on, but at the end of the day, that is the point. Disney is sitting on a massive IP at a point in time where nostalgia to sells, and they have a brand new streaming platform dependent on nostalgia. In my opinion, to do nothing with Phineas and Ferb besides a one-off movie would be a waste of everybody's potential in this situation. And I for one would love to see a reimagining of the Phineas and Ferb characters in any other scenario, or just to see what Dan and Swampy have in mind for these characters. But at the end of the day guys, this is all speculation, and although I hope to hear news soon, I also hope to hear from you about this. Let us know in those comments down below. Would you be excited for a new Phineas and Ferb series? Do you think the show should just end where it ended naturally? Let us know in those comments down below or tweet to us at Roundtable Vids or me at a touch or an email. If you want to consider helping out the Roundtable, you can support us on Patreon or become a member of the channel and get exclusive access to scripts and avatars. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more incredible cartoon content. As always guys, I'm Nemo, this is a Phineas and Ferb update video, and I will see you next time. Peace.